हेलो एवरी वन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू आर सेकेंड सेशन ऑन टैंगल कोस्टर्स सो वील बी यूजिंग इन टैंगल पैटर्न टू क्रिएट ब्यूटिफुल कोस्टर्स सो दिस इज द सेकेंड कोस्टर द सेकेंड सेशन येस एन एम डी एफ कोस्टर एंड वी शेल स्टार्ट राइट अवे टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी यूजिंग अ ट्रिपली टैंगलिएशन या सो वन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट पैक्स दिस टैंगलिएशन डिड कम थ्रू सो आई एम गोइंग टू बी यूजिंग द सेम सो लेट मी राइट इट डाउन फॉर योर convenience so this will be a triply tangliation <coughs> along with a tangle called alium yeah alium is again a tangle by a cct tangle by j j la barbera yeah so i'm going to use these two tangles today in combination so a triply tangliation so let us start right away so i am will i'll be using my black identity pen first so let us get started with an orb in the somewhere like this and then i'm going to just leave a highlight and ink the rest yeah and then i'm going to be drawing triplies so you might want to use your bolder nib for the outline yeah so again a close aura and a triangular shape again a close aura and a triangular shape just like we draw triply so we are drawing triply like a flower here yeah so i'm going to now connect these two ends like this with my finer tip yeah yeah simple exercise again i'm going to draw one more an orb in the tin again starting with the triplies the triangles it would be nice to give a slight curve also we'll add that dimension so simple triply arranged in the form of a flower as i mentioned earlier also most of these entangled patterns can also be arranged like flowers so going with another one again closely aura the previous petal you can always add a slight curve the triangles need not be perfect yeah so just take it easy i'm going to first add this hump here yeah I think three would be enough. Let us first draw our leaves, and then, or probably I'll draw one more here, and then we'll move on to alium.
yeah and then again capping the ends yeah simple exercise let us now move on to drawing our leaves yeah so alien is a very simple pattern to draw I'm going to add a nice leaf shape like this and then going to aura it from inside like this yeah then leave one aura and then ink the next basically ink the sections alternatively yeah again you can switch your sides so it's a very simple pattern to draw but adds a lot of drama especially when you shade it yeah so just keep switching your nips because you don't want the ends to yeah so simple pattern add a little more boneless to the outer aura and you can ink this one also that's okay yeah simple pattern to draw so I'm going to draw another one here and I'm going to show it to you again so just start adding auras again another aura again another aura another aura and the last one yeah now you have to ink so so the other side nib is pretty thick so be careful while you are inking don't go up to the ends uh, it's nice to use it but with care yeah otherwise your inking will be all around yeah so that's another one so again we can add some more drawing behind yeah then again ink So there are a couple of leaf shaped tangles in Zentangle. For example, you can use flux, you can use toodles. Yeah, so I thought of using some new tangles in this series. So this is a nice leaf tangle, alium. So I thought maybe we can use this one. Yeah, and then I'll add similarly on the other side also. So let's go with another one here. So we are not drawing complete leaves here. This as per the space, right? So you can always draw the entire leaf shape. Yeah, and then ink.
yeah so i'm going to continue like this and add a few more as per the spaces available yeah so here are our aliums aliums so i think we have added enough of them so if you wish you can add some big orbs here and there like this and we shall shade them later yeah wherever you have ample space so adding some big big ones yeah I'm just going to leave it like this for now and then we'll see how do we go about shading it so wherever you think you want to insert one please do that yeah so so after adding these orbs the next thing that i am going to be doing is add these edge marks in my flowers more like fescues and less than less like edge marks yeah they look more like fescues so going to add these And the last one. So you can see here how beautiful triply looks like when arranged like flowers also. So try it out with other Zentangle patterns also. They look equally nice and most of them can be arranged like flowers also. Yeah. So I think we are done with our tangling part. Let us now move on to shading. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm now going to add some graphite. So alien is generally darkened on one side and then highlighted on the other. That's the most common way. To shade the pattern alien however you can always go ahead with a different shading yeah so what I'm doing is just dividing my alien into two parts and shading first one half yeah so applying adding graphite to one half and then we are going to blend it one more here yeah then I'm going to add graphite here and on the ends yeah so both the ends and the beginning to be highlighted with gray same exercise for all so when I generally draw coasters I generally don't clutter it much I go with simple two or three tangles however you can draw intricate ones also but uh, my personal feeling is that they look better when it is you know clear and open tangles 
so I generally don't add too many tangles on coasters so but again that's a personal feeling or preference you can always create integrate integrate coasters also yeah so now let us start to shade so i'm going to add little on the top of these orbs also yeah and now let us first start blending and we'll see where what we want to add more yeah so i'm going to pick up my stump and first blend my alien on one side darken it so no need to apply on the inked portions they are anyways going to reflect so might as well not apply So very simple tangle, just about shape and inking and looks pretty dramatic once you shade it. Yeah. So let us now move on to our flowers. So just blend the graphite but don't blend too much we want some brown section for a highlight yeah so just blend but don't blend too much So graphite shows fine on MDF so you can always shade it the normal way that you generally do. There is no difference in shading. yeah. So you can easily go with the usual way of shading on MDF also. softening what I have put already and the last one now make sure there are no pencil marks And then a slight touch on these orbs. Yeah. And then we shall move on to our chalk pencil. So I'm now going to add highlight here on all my flowers yeah So chalk pencil is working fine here so we are going to be using this only at times it doesn't work especially after applying your Mod Podge so it would be nice as I said earlier to keep your color pencils also handy 
times they work better so they can give the much required highlight highlighting is fun in tan tiles white as I told you really adds to anything tan and so are the coasters so real fun yeah now on the other side of the alien add the chalk in between so take it easy take your time I'm going to sharpen it a little yeah so it's better now so I'm going to sharpen I've sharpened it and always nice to use a sharpened pencil as well as graphite pencil as well as chalk pencil for precision yeah so again adding chalk on the other half I think we are done with that now on the ops yeah So the chalk work is done and I'm now going to just blend, soften the chalk, blend it with the rest. So just take it easy, just soften it. Yeah, so that it just looks like a highlight. Fourth one, just make sure that they don't look like patches and they beautifully merge into your MDF and with the rest of the grays. Yeah, just blend, soften it. Yeah, and then moving on to our orbs. So you just need to darken the tips a bit, make sure that they are dark enough. Yeah. should blend well that's the only thing so I'm switching my blending stumps here so wherever I think the 
graphite is not enough I'm just reinforcing yeah so that's about shading now we shall add an aura with a brown pen whatever you think the shading is a bit you can always soften it yeah so let us now aura the entire thing with the brown pen and repeat those auras yeah so I'm not going to add anything else just going to add an aura to the whole thing like this you may also want to ink it with brown that's entirely up to you or you may just aura it or you can add a thick aura and add some puffs as an enhancement so there are a whole lot of options let us see what do we want to do here yeah so let us thicken the aura yeah so I'm going to reinforce it with my thicker nib like this yeah so it's certain things you can't really plan and it's better not to plan because you want to see how things work out as you draw yeah so just not much spaces here so I think adding small pops would be a good idea to highlight your center piece yeah so I'm just re-emphasizing So once we are done that, do repeat these lines also, at least the outer ones, like this, would be a good idea since they are somewhat hidden behind greys and whites now. So it would be a nice idea to re-emphasize the outermost aura with the same identity pen yeah. so I'm just repeating the lines so it's always a good idea to do this exercise after you have drawn the entire thing especially after shading yeah so let us now add some embellishment and I'm going to use my Posca now and add some embellishment so first these lines these dividers add the dots yeah highlight these the center dots again I think we didn't blend here it looks kind of rough almost look like pearls on your flower so take your time find out places where you can embellish it's a tan space so there are a lot of opportunities especially to embellish with white yeah
so now that we have done that let us now add that perfs small little perfs wherever we can all around the center piece yeah Yeah, so a small little embellishment. Take your time, go slow, be patient. Yeah, almost done. Make sure you don't put your hand on it. Yeah. So, one small thing here. Just like, somewhat like a droplet. Yeah. And we are done. So, that's our poster for today. Yeah, if you want, you can add one more layer of aura here. If you think this is kind of more space here, so I'm going to repeat the aura like this. Yeah, and probably add one more layer of orbs like this, and we are done. Yeah, so let it dry for two minutes and we shall apply a layer of mod podge over it yeah so now that the posca has also dried up i'm now going to apply some mod podge with the sponge yeah i have it here so just dab dab make sure your sponge is i keep forgetting wet the sponge should be wet and just this will add the first of all preserve your work and then add some glaze to your work yeah so yeah that's it you don't need to do anything else just a light hand and you are done yeah so let it dry and I'll meet you in five minutes. So the Mod Podge has now dried up and this is our coaster for today. Yeah, so we shall continue with our series. Uh, I'll be back with the third session. Till then, have a good time. Do try them out. Yeah, bye-bye. Take care.